uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about or looking at another uh, very popular interview question uh, that's often been asked, uh, and it also falls under the uh, arrays uh, category. Okay, so the question is uh, the, the way question goes is uh, very simple. Basically, uh, if you have an array, if you have given an array of size n, you need to find a majority element now. What uh, what could majority element be? Well, uh, majority element is something that appears more than uh, half of the array. So let's say if your array size, if you look at the example here, uh, if your array is three elements, then three two of the elements in this uh, three elements array is same. So in this case, three, two, three. So three is appearing at least n by two or more. Uh, times that means uh, that three is a majority element, and uh, one of the other thing that actually uh, has been found about this uh, problem is you can assume that array is not going to be empty, and uh, the majority element is always uh, going to ex exist in the array. So that means the array is always going to have so it's not going to have a situation where it's going to be three two three two kind of like that. Okay, so it's always going to be the case where one element is going to be uh, that's going to be in the majority. Okay, so um, now once again, um, like you know, I'll I would like to leave you with um, uh, like you know this challenge and uh, go ahead and pause the video, try it out, like you know at least uh, conceptualize uh, what you're going to do, and uh, once you have conceptualized or try to solve on your own, uh, then uh, unpause uh, to continue on. Okay, I'm going to just wait for uh, ten seconds and then going to continue forward. All right, so hopefully uh, that went well. Um, but let's take a look. Uh, in any case, let's take a look at the uh, at the solution uh, or potential solution. Okay. So uh, what uh, we can do basically is uh, we can do this with one single loop uh, and with the help of one additional um, counter. So one common counter for um, for our array to keep track, okay? So the main idea is basically to keep, keep uh, uh, to loop through uh, the elements, check if the current element is same as the major element. So first time when you're entering the loop, the major element is gonna be the first item of the array, okay? And then if they are same, then you increment the counter, okay? And uh, if they are different, you decrement the counter, okay? So uh, basically, you are either incrementing the counter or decrementing the same counter, and that counter's value, whenever it becomes zero, that means you your majority uh, has been um, has been reset basically because there's uh, so let's say if you were uh, you had two uh, so for example if you go back here if you had this. Two, two, right? So when first time you enter, uh, first element, majority element, the first item is two. Uh, then you enter the loop and you compare two with two. Uh, you say, okay, yeah, that's actually good. So uh, let's increment the counter to uh, from zero to one, and then you get to the next element, which is again two. So that means uh, you increment the counter again and make it two. Okay, so your counter value is two, and now um, you uh, in, in the next loop you encountered one. So when you encounter one, you actually go in the else part of the loop um, in the condition, and uh, you say, okay, now it's different. So decrement. So you're gonna decrement uh, the counter, and counter becomes uh, one. Then you decrement again, and your counter becomes zero. Now if you if you were to stop here, you can see that we don't have any majority because two and two, two appears two times, one appears one uh, two times, that's all, okay? So that means we are at a state where our, um, where our um, element has uh, like, you know, similar majorities, like, you know, so they're, they're 
like you know same number of times they appear on each other so that's why our counter has become zero well if that happens our majority element changes to that latest item that we are iterating over okay now since you're using a uh, for in uh that's why we 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 are gonna reset the counter to uh one and we also we're only gonna check for counter to be zero, but you can modify it. And I'll show you the variation where you can modify and, and uh, do it uh, another way, this loop. But anyways, let's continue forward. So if your counter becomes zero, that means your majority element is the current, could be the current element, okay? So then you take your current element and uh, you basically assign that as a majority element. So going back to the example, one is gonna be assigned to the majority element and counter becomes one, okay? So one already appeared one time, so counter becomes one. Then you continue forward, you get, you land on another one. Uh, that means uh, it's same as the majority element, so counter becomes two, okay? Then uh, you encounter two. So your counter goes down by one, so it becomes one. Another two, your counter goes into uh, another um, uh, decrement and it becomes zero. Now, uh, that's when uh, actually your majority element changes again uh, to the current element, which becomes two, okay? And the counter becomes one. And that's where we actually uh, end our loop because we are at the end of our array. And that trick can get you the major, major element. Okay, we're gonna see another variation in next video, like you know how the majority element actually works. But because this idea is simple, where you have a non-empty array and majority element always exists, um, and it's only n by two times, we could actually employ this technique. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a solution uh, in the um, uh, in the Ripple. So I'm gonna once again open that REPL, uh, REPL.it once again. Uh, so hope you found it. Um, and uh, we are going to write our function here. So we're gonna say func um, majority. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna take an array. And what we are returning here is an integer, basically the count, uh, the majority element, okay? So first thing we're gonna do, um, uh, we, I mean, it's been said that array is not gonna be nil. If it was, uh, if it could be empty, we could simply say uh, guard um, array dot count is um, greater than zero. Else, uh, we just return zero and exit from here. Uh, we could have said that, but uh, array is not empty, so we can actually leave that part. Uh, now we create our majority item variable and we take the first item of the array and assign that to majority item okay so you always have to start we always have to start from somewhere so this is where we're going to start from then we say our counter is equal to zero as well then we enter our loop so for item in array okay now here uh what we do is uh, we actually first check if the item is equal to majority item okay so if it is equal to uh, majority item then what we do is we simply say counter plus equal one okay and that's about it so we uh end this condition here go to the else block we say if the counter is if the element is not the majority element or if the current item is not equal to the current to the majority item then we decrement our counter and immediately after that, we actually just check that counter is not zero. If it is zero, then we need to update our majority item to be the current item that's, that we are being iterated on, okay? And because we are actually tra traversing through the, the array uh, from zero to like, you know, the end of the array, that's why we are going to basically uh, simply uh, Excuse me. Uh, we are simply uh, going to uh, assign this counter to be one. Okay. So now uh, this is where our loop is going to run, and when it ends, uh, the majority item 
value is going to have the majority, the number um, uh, that is in majority within the array. Okay, so let's test it out. Um, so we're going to say print and uh, majority. And let's just start with three, two, three first. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And you can see uh, three is actually what we are getting if we do uh, two and uh, then we do another three, um, then three. And if we change this one to two, we get two. And if we do, for example, three, two, three, two, two, uh, three, two, three, two, three, two, and then two. In any case, like, you know, because it's a majority, you have to have that balance, right? So it actually works. So let's say if I change everything to two, this we know for sure is gonna work. <laughs> um, there you go, we have two. And uh, if we change this to first, uh, for example, two, two, uh, so two, two, one, 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 this is gonna reset our uh, counter. And then uh, two, two, two. Um, so we have two, five times, one, four times. So we should get two, yeah, there we go, all right? So uh, that's uh, that's how the majority element uh, goes. Now, the, the modification that I was actually talking about, if you wanna iterate, um, I, if you wanna iterate, uh, excluding the first item because you already have added that in the majority. Uh, the only thing that you have to actually modify is basically uh, this. So you're gonna say for i in, uh, you can say one, two, the less than counter. So less than array dot count, uh, one through the end of the array, uh, because it's zero base index, that's why we are doing less uh, than. And uh, we're gonna say array, i is what we're going to actually compare against and array i and this because this value can go uh below zero um you can actually simply remove that counter is equal to one and then you can um execute it so let's see if this works so there we go so that's how you can basically so even if you're like you know your counter value goes below zero in that case uh, you still have like you know uh, you still update your majority item then when the item comes back up uh, like you know that majority item is found again your counter value becomes higher and in like you know by the end of the loop you're gonna find your majority item um, to do this technique okay so hope uh this was uh, uh you found this uh useful and uh thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next video in another variation of this majority uh element uh question uh that is again very popular and uh we're gonna see how we're gonna go about solving that one okay so thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next video